Let's do this. <laughs> this is uh, this is from the Brewing Blue Point Company. Wait, Wrong. I fucked that up. It's the Blue Point Brewing Company. There it is. So, I'm reading it just from Master top Yoda. to bottom. <laughs> it's uh, <clears throat> the uh, Hoptical Illusion Indian Pale Ale from the Blue Point Brewing Company. Brew Point Brewing Company. Um, it's got 6.8 ABV, I think. Um, I mean, it's an IPA. Everybody loves an IPA. Everybody on this podcast. Except you. No, yeah. you, you don't. No, you're right. I was just yeah. about to say that. Okay. Not, not me, but everybody else. But, uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the people that matter. <laughs> we're uh. we're going to enjoy it tonight, because this is the One Beer and Podcast. Blue Point Brewing Company. Company. That's kind of a tongue twister. Yeah, see? And they're twist off. Damn it. Love. surprised no one's had this before i mean look at the packaging illuminati son it's too much it is a little too much that's i mean that's i mean what what are we trying to say with this i have no designer well it's got nothing yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's for damn sure it's got there's nothing like there's no continuity yeah nothing going on here let's just put the all-seeing eye on there for because because illusion I guess. Because Illusion and Illuminati have I-L-L in it. And then there's a crescent moon with a face. And hops. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. Okay. Tastes good, though. Yeah, beer's not bad. <laughs> well, we talked before about how important appearance is in these beers, that too. That we did. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't look at it too hard. I'll be honest with you, the colors kind of popped out at me, and I just grabbed it. Oh. So It said Indian Pale Ale, and I grabbed it. Then they won, Marco. So... Yeah, <laughs> look at it. It's like it's got Microsoft Word art on it. The yeah. optical yeah. illusion. Yeah, it does. Like, is it good local? Make, no, no, it's, it's Long Island. Long Island, yeah. Oh. oh, it's right there in my face. Aside from the packaging, uh, it's good. Mm. Yeah. It's not great. It's not the best IPA I've ever had. Pretty standard. Yeah. <clears throat> it tastes like an IPA. It's That's... <clears throat> <laughs> good to know I mean, there's, there's nothing special about it there's yeah. no resounding features or right. anything it's just a regular no hint ass. of anything else it's just very hoppy to be IPA. fair it's getting harder and harder to really impress us I think especially with IPAs I feel like that's kind that's of a common one for us forte yeah come on <laughs> yeah uh, that being said I'd probably give it a I'm gonna go with a 3 out of 6 I can I can recommend it but loosely not I'm a huge fan. I don't half. know if it is hard to impress us. Mm. I don't think so because if this was a really good IPA, we would. That's like we're defeating. We would praise it. We're defeating the purpose of the the points if we're saying it's getting harder to impress us. Yeah, I, I think we would praise it if it was. Yeah, I, there's never been a point where I feel like we've had something where it's like, well, we're we've had this enough. Yeah, I mean, when you mm. take this, when you drink it, do you immediately compare it to the last IPA you had or the best IPA you had, or do you just drink it like an IPA? Every time I I have any of these beers, yeah, I go out pretty I, neutral, right? Face yeah. value on on everything. Well, that's the way to do it. So it's not getting harder to impress us. We're just that damn good. Mm, well. Damn right. And this is not that damn good. No, no I think that's that's a fair <laughs> subtitle for it. Not that damn good. <laughs> I think it's still okay. It, it's all right though. It's not bad. Yeah, it's it's yeah. passable. Yeah, I would recommend. Different other. IPAs. Yeah. yeah. There are other IPAs that I would recommend, though. So, But if you're in a bind and this just happens to be an IPA out there, yeah. you don't got to be worried about it, yeah. I'd say. If, if somebody else brought it. Yeah. <laughs> if someone else brought you could it, drink, drink it. it. Yeah, that's a, that, I like that one. <laughs> that's good. Is that so, what a three stands for? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring mine down to three, too. So. Okay. Three. Three also. If someone else bought it, drink it. Drink, drink it. it. <laughs> there you go. This is the One Bear Podcast, episode 34. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, uh, and, and, and 
It's the Halloween edition. Ooh. And, and it's Marco's birthday. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, actually not. No, no. We lied. That's good, though. Yeah, Halloween edition. <laughs> um, so I guess we should just kind of uh, dive right in. Mm. Um, Adam, you wanted to ask something? Well, it being the uh, the spooky Halloween edition, it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know this is like my favorite time of year. I don't know about you guys, uh, but I've always loved fall because it's like the very start in Florida when you can actually walk outside without immediately sweating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm getting real tired of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got to nice. get out of here. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's, it is my favorite time of year and you know that goes along with Halloween. And I was wondering, what are some of your guys' favorite Halloween memories, if you have any? Uh I mean, I can start off since I'm kind of springing this on you guys. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. I, got, I can think of, I can think of, uh, I mean, because I, I, I like Halloween a lot too, so. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Also, I haven't lived here my whole life, so, mm. like, when fall rolls around, I'm, I, well, not used to, but I remember when this time of year would roll around, uh, it wasn't, man, the weather is awesome. It was like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can we go back to like a couple months ago? Because there was so much snow everywhere. Mm. Like <clears throat> when you're younger, snow days are awesome. Yeah. School gets closed. Uh, you, I mean, you wake up early. You turn on the news. This is the first time you would ever turn on the news as a kid. <laughs> you turn it on just to see your school scroll down at the bottom. <laughs> and then once you see it, that's it. It's on and popping, man. Put on the uh, the fucking snow suit. You're just outside all day. It was amazing. But when you get older... That sounds so classic of a snow day. And and that's how, I mean, you know, it does. It's Wooden stereo- sleds. stereotypical, but but that's how it was, especially living in Germany. It was, it was amazing. Uh, but when you get older, like I know, you know, people up north, they can attest to this, like, those kind of days suck now. Oh, it's because you have shit to do. Right. You actually have to do things. You've got to shovel the sidewalk. You can't go to work. So you yeah. can't make money because you have to worry about the fucking snow. Your fucking car gets snowed in. It gets snowed on. I've seen I've seen those videos where like people's windshields are breaking because the snow is is like, yeah, and it, mm-hmm. so that that sucks. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, living here, the the memory now of fall rolling around and like this is the perfect time of the year for Florida. Yeah, it's it's amazing. So that's that's probably the first memory as far as like this time period goes. Mm-hmm. Is like just how you feel. Yeah, just the feeling of just it. the feels. Yeah, yeah, pretty amazing. Hmm. So yeah, once we get down to the once we get into the thick of it, where like every day is hovering around seventy oh, degrees, it's the best. It's still kind of hot here. Yeah, uh, the past few days, especially during the day, at least at night it feels good. But once we start getting at a normal of like seventy mm-hmm. at night times, it gets to you oh, know mid fifties. See, this fall is the Florida that ter- uh, terrorists. I was gonna say terrorists, <laughs> tourists. This fall is is the Florida that tourists come for. You know, yeah. they think they come for summer Florida, oh, no. but that's not it. No, it's fall. Summer summer Florida is painful. Yeah, but that's when most of them come down. Yeah. But Stupid. what they want is fall Florida. That's yeah. when they want to come. So pro tips. Yeah, if you're gonna come to Florida, come now. Come during the fall. Yeah. You guys realize you've been been talking about the weather for like the past mm-hmm. three minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Florida weather. Mm-hmm. to mainly people that live in florida who are going to be listening to this that just bring it back you make a fair point bring it back that's fine to kind of okay i guess do you want to start with your since i i feel like you have one backlog yeah Where yeah go? i'm the just one that brought in the up. chamber yeah i was ready i was about to go off and then you started talking about the weather sorry so. right. florida that was fall, florida. florida they don't want fall uh, florida summer <laughs> they want florida fall <laughs> I'll tell you what. I just got really excited about the weather. Back in my day. <laughs> We're just on a porch, a wooden porch, <laughs> just on a rocker. back and forth. <laughs> the weather's good now. Uh, yeah, no, one of my, my favorite Halloween memories, I'd say, is... Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, what was I supposed to do with that? <laughs> he just goes, uh, the weather, and he just goes right back and says... <laughs> <laughs> I, I still love the weather. <laughs> No, uh, <laughs> one of my f- most oh. memorable memories of Halloween. Memorable memories. <laughs> memorable memories is, uh, I think I was dressed up as, I want to say Dracula. 
And uh, <laughs> it's one of the first times I can actually remember myself like getting decked out for Halloween and going out. That's my bad. Like getting getting him. decked. <laughs> <laughs> You fat little piece of <laughs> You fat Dracula. <laughs> You're sucking too much blood. Just suck, punch away the thing. Suck the uh. blood, not the fat. <laughs> punch is fat Dracula. Right? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. I had a tough childhood. Mm. Keep um, going. Yeah, no. It was <laughs> I, I think that memory is probably the uh, better than the real one. Yeah, the memory we just made. Yeah, <laughs> way better. <laughs> anyway, so I was, I had my like costume on. I got decked out with like you know the makeup, and I had little like fake blood on my mouth. And uh, I didn't see myself until eventually I was about to go outside, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I started to cry. Why? I scared myself. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a dumb kid. <laughs> Uh, How old funny. were you? I don't know. I had to be like six, <laughs> five or six. I didn't, hadn't seen myself in the makeup. Freaked me out a little bit. How That's do you? Funny. So you had like, you didn't know you were getting makeup put on, or you I just, did. You just forgot the instant it was I, done. You know, I don't really know. I knew I was getting makeup put on. I just didn't think I knew what I'd look like. I guess so. I shocked myself. Yeah. So you looked in the mirror, you saw Dracula, yeah. forgot you are Dracula. Like a newborn puppy, just <laughs> saw himself in the mirror, started barking at it. Don't you all judge me. Oh, man. <clears throat> See, but if yeah. you're really thinking, though, and you saw yourself in the mirror, you would have said, I didn't do this costume right, because I can still see myself. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Maybe that's why I cried. I was just disappointed. You're disappointed in nah. yourself. You didn't go all the way. Mm. Always a fucking excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't just be a dumb kid. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Better than that. Ah, that's funny. Uh, but anyway, yeah. That and just, you know, growing up in small town Castleberry and actually doing the trick-or-treat experience. Walking down the street. Your yeah. main street and uh, going they all your neighbors. Parents follow behind you in a car. No, no, no. Never had that. My mom did that. It was the worst. No. <laughs> what a nerd! Yeah. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> David, I'll get your candy! <laughs> that was the worst. That sounds horrible. Yeah. I... chaperoning so hard. Just no. literally having a, a shadow just on you. That Oof. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. My parents, they didn't care. No. Nah. Like, just go out, get as much... We brought... We had the pillowcase. The classic mm -hmm. pillowcase is the is the the trick or treat bag of choice. Yeah, has to be a pillowcase. Or the uh, the the, the pumpkin. Yeah, that the was pumpkin when you bucket. were younger. You graduate to the pillowcase. It's true. When you when you get more candy, <laughs> you need the pillowcase. Right. Because yeah, you get some experience. You're you know, a seasoned you know harvester. You, you're a seasoned yep. vet. You know what you're doing. Yeah, because the pumpkin is when your mom is with you and she can kind of regulate how much candy you're getting. Mm -hmm. You come home, you dump out the the pumpkin, and nah. then you got like two handfuls. It's like training wheels. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly. And then once you get a little bit older, you're like, I'm going out on my own. What bag should I use? Pillowcase. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it, man. Then you beat your little sister with it after. Yes. No. Yeah, beat her and steal her candy. Uh, I, I remember, um, I have like, there's a couple of like very um, intense memories of, of Halloween. Like the first one is the pillowcase and me and a couple of friends just getting on bikes and basically going from six to maybe one in the morning. Jesus. We 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 rode our bikes from like I mean this isn't really gonna mean much to people listening, but you know, Kingsbridge, Waverly Woods, uh, we rode them out to here. We were all over every the, neighborhood the small like Oviedo area. We had to we got so much candy that we had to make stops. We would have to dump <laughs> out the, the pillowcases and then go back for more. So Do you I have had, like a stash box? <laughs> In the middle, dude, <coughs> no, that was just so uh, effective. Like you, you all split up, store it in a creek. You had a chest in like a oh, central dude, location. Yeah, no, I didn't even think about that. No, we just uh, we just went back to the house and just like dumped it into the living room and then just went back. And every time we just come back and I mean it was like a mountain of candy. You make it sound like work. I kind of was work, <laughs> and we earned that fucking candy. God damn it! Yeah, that was a. Uh, that's probably the one of the most vivid memories of just jumping on my bike. And I don't even think we were dressed as anything. And like parents were like, what are you supposed to be? We're here for candy. We're I'm not. a hoodlum. And a lot of some people were like, well, I'm not giving you candy because you're not dressed up. And we're like, yeah, well, fuck off, lady. There was a lot. Was Why like wouldn't a, you dress up? Because I think we got to a point where we were just like, we're here. We're in it for the candy. We're not in it to have fun 
we're in it to get as much candy as You're just possible. a punk <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> that's punk. i think i think that's what we said we were like hoodlums or robbers or something because we just dressed in like yeah, hoodies that's cute. and shit what so. are you guys supposed to be robbers <laughs> <laughs> i mean this was a couple oh, years ago i don't get it <laughs> put the goods in the bag put it put the candy in this, the bag this was before you know kids were tragic stories of you know, exploitation. Oh, God. This was back in the day when... They didn't you, want to hurt anybody. They wore, just wanted candy, if right? You wore Do you hoodie, understand? People would just say, oh, he's one of those, like, robber type guys. No one thought, like, you're kind of a suspicious person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's not... That was the furthest thing from anybody's mind. And it's kind of sad that now, like, every day you go on the internet and you see, like, somebody dressed as something inappropriate. And it's, I, I don't know. It just It just feels like before... Well, I guess there wasn't the internet before. There wasn't like Twitter and shit, so you didn't have like a resource to see all of the people. It's a constant dressing of pollution. Like, yeah, but uh, now, like I saw the latest, I guess, uh, uh, controversy mm. is some guy dressed as Ray Rice and he was dragging yeah. a blow up doll behind him. That was funny. <clears throat> I mean, on the one <laughs> hand, it was actually kind of funny, and on the other hand, it's like, dude, how inappropriate can you be? Like. There's just, been many worse things. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's become commonplace so much so that that costume isn't really even all that shocking. Yeah, mm. I mean, it still made waves because people just like to talk about stuff. Oh yeah, people but, like to get mad about stuff in general. Yeah. So people love to get mad. Yeah. <laughs>